His name is Ernest Edward Dunlop, born on the 12th of July 1907 in Wangaratta, Victoria. He lived on a farm with his brother, mother and father, Alan, Alice and John. He wanted to become a surgeon, so as a young boy he would go down to the creek to operate on frogs using horsehair. With the help of his family, he moved to Melbourne to complete a pharmacy course. He studied hard, working in the city during the day and studied during the night. He won a scholarship to study medicine at Ormond College, University of Melbourne. He was given first class honours throughout his studies and graduated in December 1934. In 1940, Weary asked his girlfriend, Helen, to marry him. She said yes, but never knew the war would keep them apart for so long. On 18th of April 1942, Weary was captured by the Japanese. He was then unwillingly elected as camp commander of Allied troops. As a leader, he was able to make amazing changes. He organised better food for the prisoners, which made a big difference. In 1943, work began on the Thailand to Burma Railway. Prisoners of war had to work in 45 degree heat using only basic tools and there was little food. Every morning, Weary would wake up early to argue with the Japanese and convince them to let the sick men stay in the camp instead of working. In doing this, Weary would often risk his own life by standing up to the officers. On the 16th of August, 1945, he wrote in his diary, Oh, incredible day. The war was over and after eight long years, Weary and Helen were finally married on the 8th of November, 1945. Weary received many medals and achievements. He was a great man who protected his fellow soldiers from harsh conditions they had endured as prisoners of war under the Japanese. In fact, he had the opportunity to escape when the Japanese conquered the island, but he elected to stay to look after the other soldiers including those who were ill. I think Weary Dunlop was a real hero because he was willing to sacrifice himself for the fairness of his men by asking for more food. I admire that when he sets out a task, he does all he can to reach his goal. When I find something interesting, I do all I can to find out more. I keep going until I have finished the task. If I find out it's not for me, at least it's something I tried. I also put others before myself just as Weary did. He put his own life at risk for his troops. Weary was also able to solve many difficult problems as he was a lateral thinker. When things get too hard or if I have too many things to do on my plate, I take a step back. This way I can work on the most important tasks and get everything done without stressing over it. I think that Weary had a lot of responsibilities as he was camp commander, would teach some of the soldiers Latin and he was also in charge of surgery. Weary had a lot of responsibilities, but he pushed past all the problems.